Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And this is Two, Two Guys and a Ride. Today we're going to take a look at this Cadillac Escalade. And this is the Platinum Trim Level. And I got to say, Nathan, in the race for the most technology and feature-laden vehicle, full-size SUV, Cadillac is not only, well, actually Cadillac is up the ante yet again and they've not only won the battle, but I think with this vehicle, they've actually won the war. So what do you say? Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. We'd like to thank our friends at Snell Motors in Mankato for loaning us this beautiful 2019 Cadillac Escalade for our review today. This Escalade does have a 10-speed automatic transmission with overdrive, tow haul mode, and tap up and down shifting. Capable of getting you 14 City 21 Highway, it has a 31-gallon fuel tank, also comes with four-wheel anti-lock brakes, 17-inch Duralife rotors, and up to 22-inch dual nine-spoke alloy wheels with all-season tires. It does have four-wheel drive, magnetic ride control, Stabilitrack electronic stability control with traction control, rear automatic load leveling, electric power steering, a 3.23 rear axle ratio, and auto track two speed transfer case and locking rear differential. There is a heavy duty trailer equipment with seven wire harness and seven way sealed connector, oil cooler, transmission cooler, and 170 amp alternator. Two wheel drive models of the Escalade can tow up to 8,100 pounds. Four wheel drives can tow up to 7,900 pounds. Interestingly enough, the Lincoln Navigator can only tow up to 6,600 pounds. There are power retractable assist steps, the running boards, and they do have textured step pads, and there is LED ground illumination. I want to give you a look at the key fob on the Cadillac and uh, pretty standard lock unlock uh, engine start uh, remote start I should say uh, you can open up the glass or you can open up the whole tailgate and of course there's a panic button to get into the vehicle is pretty simple have uh, use the key fob itself or have it on your body your person and then just touch the outer button to lock and unlock and right now that's it and you see the uh, running boards will deploy as well if you look at that this Escalade is powered by a 6.2 liter V8 with active fuel management, putting out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-foot of torque. Maximum cargo volume behind the front seats is 120.9 cubic feet. As I said earlier, I think they've won the war against the new Lincoln Navigator as it only has 120.3 cubic feet. Now volume behind the second row seats is 76.7 cubic feet. And again, volume behind the third row seats beats the Lincoln Navigator. The Cadillac has 39.3 cubic feet where the Lincoln Navigator only has 36 cubic feet. You do have the buttons here to drop the second row and the third row. You can drop the second row seats. However, they are not power uh, to put them back up. You have to manually put those back up. But now, uh, in working the third row, you can indeed see that they are power. As far as styling goes, you know, I really love the tall tail lights and turn signal mix. And it kind of evokes the old uh, tail fins of the, uh, the uh, late 50s and early 60s. And you know, it's kind of a Cadillac trademark, so I love that. Uh, the badge on the back, the emblem, is absolutely huge. Uh, size, my hand won't even cover it completely. Uh, you've got the third mount stoplight up top there. It is, it is beautifully styled. It's very slab sided, but you know what? Instead of messing up the vehicle with, vehicle with a bunch of curves and a bunch of uh, different things like that, they made it simple. And it is simply elegant. I love the hip line here. Nice definition of the lines. Nice angles, a little cut here. The chrome, the brush steel. Uh, roof rack up top, the chrome door handles, 
very nice as well then you got the chrome strip at the bottom with a little bit of uh, motion to it as well and then of course the large 22 inch wheels and the running boards you do have your turn signals and the chrome and black and the paint on the um, mirrors and I like that as well but again very very sedate very um, you know just classy looking then we get to the front end and this is where the bling happens this is the epitome of Cadillac and this is the bling but you know what in your rearview mirror you see that coming uh, there's no mistaking it's a Cadillac Escalade so that's it folks that's it for the outside of the vehicle I'm gonna hand it off to Nathan now and we'll let him take you for a tour on the inside okay Nathan so here we go I showed the folks to the outside why don't you take them for a tour on the inside I know you're waiting you're ready to go I am come on in let's see what this thing has all right, and we are on the inside of the 2019 Cadillac Escalade, and this is the uh, Platinum trim level, and it is the ESV, so this is the extended length version. We're going to do a couple of different things on this video review, uh, and we've been looking for a way to shorten up our videos just a little bit and provide the necessary information, but not overload. I'll be doing the general overview. And then um, if you want specifics on, say, the infotainment system or the driver's information system or steering wheel controls, uh, the entertainment center in the rear, uh, climate control, heads up display, or the digital rear view mirror. I'll have separate videos posted below that are short, but talk just about that particular uh, topic. So if you own one of these or you want more specific information about those, you'll find that information in those videos below. So with that being said, let's take a look at this interior because this thing is loaded. Here on the driver's door, you have got two position memory set along with an easy exit feature. Uh, your power windows, you do have power folding mirrors up here. Down here, you have an extra button right here. This is the child locks for the uh, rear doors. Uh, one simple click activates the child locks and one simple click deactivates them. You've got some side pocket storage down here, not super deep, you can see my hand, but enough to hold a few things. Down here you've got a little bit more storage and then this would work for a bottle holder. Over here on the seat, this is a 18 way power seat on this particular Platinum package. Uh, real basically, these are your power seat controls as you would normally see them. Uh, this button turns on the front and back massaging uh, it went out with a simple one click. This button, however, is your more of your full control unit. And this will activate your um, massaging seats. And then these will give you controls or their cursors. You can kind of see them. You can, you'll be able to feel them with your finger. And I'll show you what happens when I click this forward or backwards. If you look on the infotainment screen, immediately you can see what you're going to massage and as I click that same silver knob forward it goes up to the four modes okay actually it's a three mode massaging but you can really uh, customize what what's happening and then the the arrows that you see allow you to make certain adjustments uh, to the firmness uh, of the setting and the passenger seat has the same thing you got beautiful uh, semi alanine leather seating right here. Uh, one thing you want to just be, make sure you do is make sure you read the owner's manual on this type of leather seating and so that you maintain it well and keep it cleaned. Over here, you have your basic uh, lighting control. You do have your two wheel drive and four wheel drive, four high, four low, and auto right over here. Up here, you've got your heads up display, which We'll show you here in a second if I can see it in the camera. There you go. Moving down, you have got your electric parking brake down here as well as your trunk opening right there. And here's the driver's information center. This is all digital. Back here on the steering wheel, you do have a multi-functioning stock. Uh, this is your rear wiper. The one thing uh, that I think is really worth mentioning here is when you push this, it does wash the two rear cameras that are located in the rear. It sprays water directly across them, as well as washing your back window. Uh, you do have 
um, your intermittent wiper for the rear here, you've got intermittent for the front, your windshield wipers, your spray up here, as well as your as well as your flash to pass right here. On your steering wheel controls, uh, when you first get in, you will not see anything but buttons right here. When you start it up, everything uh, will come to life. You'll see all the little arrows and everything show up and, and uh, it'll show you what the button does. Okay, so over here, you basically have your cruise control buttons. And then over here are the buttons that affect everything else, including your driver's information center. Um, you do have, of course, your shifter button You with your tow haul button up here, and you do have some sequential shifting possibilities with the plus and minus button up there. We have a very nice infotainment center here with a really clear high-definition screen. A Bose center point sound system with 16 speakers. It is soft touch. The one thing I really like about this one is it has haptic feedback. So when you push a button, you get a little... Uh, a little feel on your fingers as if you've pushed something. Okay. Um, you, it is all soft touch control, uh, but you do have some control over it from your steering wheel controls. Moving on down here, you've got your climate control system, uh, which can be a swipe or you can typically click. Uh, worth mentioning is that you need to click above the silver bars wherever they are to activate that particular function. So a heated, a heated temperature, your temperature control here would be adjustable up here and then to cool it down would be above this bar. Okay. It is auto climate control. It is, is tri-zone temperature control here. Uh, so there's one separate setting for the rear and you of course can control the rear air conditioning and heating from up here. You do have heated seats, three stage heated seats on both sides. You do have ventilated seats on both sides and uh, the difference here is here you just get your seat back and here you have both seat back and seat cushion. Okay. Moving on down here you do have a media player for uh, uh, DVDs or CDs. Uh, but this will run the two center roof mounted uh, DVD screens in the rear. The, this also has uh, headrest t TV screens, but those are have their own uh, DVD inserts. Moving down down here, Cadillac's made this look very plush, but you simply click here and you see your cup holders. You've got a nice Cadillac logo right here. These are cooled cup holders. And if I push here, I show up a, two, a double USB port here, a 12 volt outlet right here, as well as turning on your cooled cup holders. And on the inside here, underneath the wireless charging pad, you have an ice cooler. So that button turns on the cooling for both of those. In addition, down here, you have, let's see if we can see it. There we go. We have a, a dual USB ports here and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for accessing uh, music through your, from say your phone or an MP3 player into your infotainment system. And then you do have a little storage right here. This is a, would be good for something like pens. It's a little hard to see in this light. And then there's a separate one right here. There's a little wall dividing them. This is kind of a short one. This one's a little longer. Again, good for pens or something like that. And then you do have a longer tray to lay the things down, as well as another, get my hand out of the way, 12 volt outlet. We're up here. We do have a digital rear view mirror. So if I have it set backwards like this, and I raise it up, there's the regular rear view mirror right there. If I flick this switch forward, it becomes a digital mirror and works off the cameras uh, that are in the, the back of the vehicle. And if I move over here to the passenger side, um, beautiful trim. Um, this, this piece is, a, is a, a hard hardened plastic right here. Uh, over here is, is a little bit softer touch. Okay. And one of my uh, favorite buttons is this one right here because it opens up your glove compartment. 
you notice there is no physical button for the glove compartment. Hey, but that is how you access it right there. Hey, you have a few other buttons down here. You've got your lane keeping assist. You've got your parking sensors. And then this does come with automatic parking, which you will see, um, or you've already seen, depending on where we place this in the video. Uh, but that's where you turn on that feature right there. Up here above the center console, you have a tilt button and a slide button for your powered moonroof. You also can set your door lights to be just constantly on, just for the door or off. Up here are three sensors. One two and three and they're motion sensors so when the vehicle is off and locked um, it will sound the alarm on the car if it senses something inside a, a hand reaching through a window a door uh, trying to be, uh, be opened um, and so it'll sense those things and set off an alarm if you download the app on your phone for controlling the vehicle it'll also uh, notify you in there down here you have um, your tailgate setting so you can have a setting of three quarters max or off so depending on the height of your garage um, you can set that you have your home link buttons and then of course your safety on star and sos buttons right here as well as map reading lights this is your uh, foot pedal adjustments for your feet this one is your traction control on or off and then up here you have the mode button to switch between, let's get this to you so you can see. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, if I hit that mode button, you can see you have a choice between tour, sport, or snow and ice. Of course, this is a push button start right down here. Basic things you have on your infotainment screen are, is going to be, if we go to home, you're going to have um, climate control, you'll have your audio, your phone, um, you have, in order to do a projection, you have to have a USB hooked into it, navigation, you can just control the rear video, uh, your camera, your texting stuff, your OnStar, your rear climate, um, the run boards. So let's click on that one for a minute. So over here, once you click on that, you have a choice of on or extended. Choosing extended leaves the running boards um, out all the time. They don't go back in. Or you can turn them off. Back button's located right up here. And you can, of course, adjust your, your look at your cameras, set up traffic for the navigation, um, and then we're back to the same screen. So those are the basic functions. Again, if you want to watch more detail on that, click on our video down below where we go into more depth about how to, what's all involved in here and, and how you would run it. All right, stepping into the second row of the Escalade, we see a typical door here. We've got a beautiful trim up here. I really like the curved handle right here for the door opening. That's a nice touch. Speaker up there, power windows, uh, cup holder, um, maybe something for a phone right there. Uh, and then you do have a small pocket storage under here, which is felt lined. You have another one up in here, and then a separate one down here. Now, the cup holders, they do appear a bit small, but you can fit a mug right in there. And if you want to, they'll also fit a bottle of pop. Okay. Down here, though, you've got a nice little bottle holder area. If you can just slide your bottle right in, just remember to keep your cap on it. Moving over to the seats, these are manually controlled seats. They do recline, okay, but they do not go forward or backwards. Now that being said, let me step in here and show you something. Because you may be thinking, well, if I can't adjust them backwards or forwards, that's that's kind of a, a not a great thing. However, left it, I'm five foot eleven and a half. Rob was in here a little earlier. He's taller than me, so uh, he he has a set back to, adjusted for him. Look how much leg room I have. So I don't think there's gonna be a problem fitting anyone back here. So, there may not slide back and forth, but there is oodles of room. You've got headrest mounted TV screens on both sides, as well as a third TV mounted there, as well as a fourth TV mounted there. Got your grab handles up here. You do have seat back pocket storage, 
case you're wondering what these are, these are ventilating vents for, these are vents for the ventilated seats. So you'll see that on both sides. Down here in the center, you do have your third zone climate control. You do also have heated seats on both sides for the second row. Down here, you have some more ports. You have a, two USB ports. Then you have an HDMI port that connects into your media. Not actually sure at this point which one, if that connects to the center screen uh, or the two on the side. I'm thinking it's going to be the center screens, uh, but not positive on that one. Um, then you got a volume knob and you got a headphone jack, but these are all wireless headphones for these ones up here. Uh, these two TV screens in the headrest have, if I can get on top and show you, but there is a, right where my hand is, it's kind of a little hard to show you, but right here, yep, there we go. There's a DVD slot to input the DVDs. These two screens in the middle both operate off of one player, and that is the one that's down in the front next to the Cadillac logo towards the bottom of the center console there. Down here, you have a three-pronged outlet. And down here, you have another 12-volt outlet. So to get in the third row, you can just go around the two seats and step right back in, which I think would probably be the way most people would go. But you can also pull this lever up and it flips. All right, so here I am in the third row of the Escalade and I have got, uh, I got my knees up here. I'm close to the seat, but I am not touching it. I do have wiggle room. You have a cup holder here and you have a little bit of storage over here. On the left side, you have the, you, you do have a 12 volt outlet right here and then dual cup holders as well as a storage tray back behind you. Let's try to turn the parking system on down there and then we're going to do a right angle back up on the left. Okay, now it's telling us to put it in reverse. Look at that, steering wheel turning all by itself. You can see the, the backup camera and the steering wheel. Uh, it's, it's running the throttle itself. You have to apply the brake. Okay, now it's telling us to go into drive. So, um, John does have his foot on the brake to, to run that, but the vehicle will automatically tell you when to stop. You can see the parking sensors on the driver's information center lighting up. It tells you to stop, it gives you haptic feedback on your seat. Now it's adjusting the steering wheel again to get you lined up. Making just slight adjustments. There's that haptic feedback again. And then you apply the brake. And then you have successfully uh, done a uh, right angle back up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 2019 Cadillac Escalade Platinum Edition. And it is the ESV as well. So it's the extended length version. Well, I gotta say, I've got the air conditioned seats on and I am like, ooh, I'm getting cold. You, de you definitely, no, you definitely feel it. Oh, I like that you can hear, I don't know if you can pick it up on the video, but you can hear a little bit of that engine growl. Mm -hmm. 6.2 liter, I like that. The steering wheel is really nice. Nice and comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, the seats are firm, but I know, uh, like in my own personal car, those are firm, the firm seats are better for actually for the longer ride because they're supportive. I like the uh, the massaging seats. I have those oh, on. I was just thinking about that. I, I, I just turned the knob down here. Is that it? And um, there's just uh, there's an upper button, kind of yep. like the most upper in the middle. Just click that. That'll just automatically turn them on. Ooh, so you're not messing oh, I with. I got it. I got it. <laughs> there are a myriad of adjustments you can make in those oh massaging seats, but they're all explained right on the screen. Yeah. I like the mirrors. They're like truncated. They're not so long out and they're deep. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Heads up display is really nice. Very clear. I oh, like you've got that going, huh? And I like the colors on it. 
greedy um, colors. The, having the multiple <laughs> colors is re is really nice. It, it makes things stand out. Yep. And it reads speed limit signs, so it, it'll tell you what the current speed limit is based on the sign. Very quiet in here. Now they call the interior color maple sugar. Maple sugar. Okay. Yep. Wow. It's it's a really cool looking color. And I'm not sure of the type of wood that's in here, but it's got a nice dark green to it. So it's a nice contract yeah. contrast with the uh, chrome, the brush chrome, um, and then the piano black gloss. Yeah. Fit and finish is everything is really nice and soft touch. Uh, the center part here is hard. Right on the very edge, it's soft. Up here, it's, it's got a little, little, little bit of harder feel, although it is okay. leather. What I do like, this though, is, is leather. this is actually real stitching. It's not the um, Faux molded stitching. Mm -hmm. uh, plastic stitching. or the. It, no, it's, it's all leather. Nice leather. <laughs> it's all leather. It's right. just this is a stiffer. This must be on top of a harder piece. This is more well, padded. Well, you know, and it probably is. It's probably yeah. coated with something different because it's going to take the, the sun beating down on it all. You know, this has big 22-inch wheels, but the uh, tires on them do have a thicker sidewall. So I was worried uh, when I read about it, but when I saw the thicker sidewall, I knew it would be a better ride. I like the view out the front. You got a nice, you high up, big windshield. Like the grab handle up by the windshield, and you've got one inside. But you know, getting in. Yeah, they gave you two drivers, of them on this car. Yeah, you've got the ability to have the grab to, handle to, to, to get, get in the car. Right. I think it's yeah, that's right. nice. So I don't know we're we're gonna switch drivers here in a second here, but um, I, I I this is I love it. The steering wheel is just very comfortable. Um, it doesn't have some of the normal bulges I've seen in other steering wheels, but it's super comfortable. There's a lot the, of the, the interior is just luxurious with everything's leather wrapped. Oh. Um, just uh, high end, high up on the on the polished up scale. Let's just say that way. Super comfortable ride. Very so comfortable. Far. You'll love the massaging seats. Yeah. Um, so I think uh, you would make your power. passengers extremely happy if you took yeah. them somewhere in this. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy! So right away I can see. Yeah, you're right. That heads up display is amazing. That is four colors. Oh. All right, it is that's, so smooth. That 6.2 liter really goes. That shift uh -huh. was just like. I think you should try that again. Butter. <laughs> I, I just want to feel that again. Wow. Oh, that is really my nice. My gosh. Not, I mean, not just the power, but the, the you know, it just the shift was like, whoosh, let's go. Yep. Wow. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Beautiful displays here in the center dash and everything. Heated steering wheel. See that? Oh, yeah. Don't need it today, but. Man, oh man. Oh boy. Plenty of leg room down here in the passenger. This is side. a huge vehicle. I think I said 22, 224 inches long, but mm -hmm. Nathan, looking out these mirrors and driving it, it doesn't seem like that big a vehicle. And I'm kind of doing this right now, turning, because I wanted to see yeah, the Yeah, that isn't just me making it up. <laughs> and it's extremely responsive. Yeah. Uh, again, I agree with you. Nice, nice, um, nice steering wheel. Very easy to hold on to. Very, and I, my favorite is it's got the cutout in the middle and the bottom because I like oh, to drive with my left yeah. hand right in that area. It's very comfortable. Uh, the armrest is a good height. Of course, you got uh, what 12 way power seat? Uh, no, 18. 18 way power on this 5, particular 5,000 way vehicle. power seats, yeah. you know. Comfortable, yeah, I, quiet. It, it, we're hitting these bumps and in most cars that we, we, we use this same test road all the time. And you know, they're, the vehicles we've been in so far have been very well dampened, but this nothing might be the like quietest this ride one. we've taken so far. Right. And it's a beautiful vehicle, and we do thank Snell Motors and Mankato for yes. loaning us this vehicle today. Uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. This vehicle is the epitome of full size SUV luxury. Plain and simple. Yeah. Plain and simple. Okay, folks, well, we're almost at the end of our drive, and we want to thank you for watching. And as remember, always, uh, make sure you click that subscribe button down there and hit the bell so you'll get notifications when we do post a new video. Yeah. And uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and follow us on Pinterest as well. Feedback on the seat. So, anyway, like I was saying, we're going to uh, show you our favorite thing. Show you a neat feature I really do like about this car. 
everyone now basically has a backup camera. This actually has a built-in spray washer where from a button on the dashboard or on the stick, you can just mash that and this will shoot water across both of those cameras to clean those cameras off. That is absolutely spectacular. All right, so I love the, uh, the automatic parallel park and the, uh, the automatic 90 degree backup that this car can do so that was one of my favorites but um, my other one that I can show you quickly here is just this bird's eye view camera so you can see all the way around your vehicle 